Hey, what's up everybody? This is Iconic Creep Paints. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. This past week was kind of a small event. This tiny little thing called Star Wars Celebration. Nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing uh, major, but in the spirit of that, I wanted to start off this statue review set, kick it off with a Star Wars character. And the brand new, newly released Koto Bikia Captain Rex from Star Wars The Clone Wars, the final season, just kind of showed up at the door a few days ago. So who better to kick this off with, right? Uh, starting off with the box is your standard Koto Bikia box, uh, black glossy box with a picture of the product on the front and as you spin the box around it is li uh, layered with different images of said product and in different angles or different poses you can spin the box around and get additional images as well as uh, a figure of it being displayed with a companion piece of Sokotano which I'll get into in a little bit but there's also a large image of Captain Rex as he appears in the Clone Wars in that final season. Uh, you open that up and then you get your typical clamshell where it's just everything's kind of laid out for you. Everything's that is a little more vulnerable is sectioned off or, or packaged separately. You can see what everything uh, is looking like in here before you take out all the, 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 the statue and the accessories and there's um, a, de a decent amount of options going on. You could definitely change his pose depending on your preference. There's also two heads. There's the helmeted head and there's the unhelmeted head where I gotta say, Koto Bikia, not that I'm surprised by them at all because they typically do great work with their sculpts, but this Captain Rex likeness, likeness looks great. Very like he just stepped out of the animated show and before I get further, I'm, I'm happy, I'm pleased that they stuck with the animated look, the aesthetic and the style. I think it looks better for this character. I know other merchandise, other companies have done Captain Rex material before, but have actually used the live action um, actor who played Jango Fett, since they're all clones of him. Um, and they're a little bulkier looking, they're a little you know, clunkier looking, so I really like the more streamlined look of the animated show. So kudos to them for that, and not only did they, did they choose to do that, but they nailed it as well, so really, really, really outstanding work there. Um, there's also a set of instructions here, which I don't read Japanese, so not very helpful to me, but the pictures are enough. I don't think this is going to be particularly hard to put together. I've also done Konobakiya pieces before, smaller scale, but same idea. And uh, very elementary, it doesn't take much to figure out what you're trying to accomplish here. So you'll see the first pose is probably the pose I'm not going to stick with. Uh, so it's he here he's got two pistols kind of firing out. It's more of a Mexican standoff kind of pose where it looks like he's surrounded and he's firing on both sides. Um, very offensive pose and this one here I, I took the unmasked uh, face and put that on just to kind of give an idea of what it looks like with uh, the face sculpt attached to the shoulders and it looks really good it's it, it, it would be tempting to leave it even like this if the helmet itself wasn't so iconic but here you can see I mean in all his glory he looks great he looks like he really stepped out of the show uh, they did such a great job adding little details and nuances to the armor there's um, some weathering going on here uh, all the blue is broken up it's faded in spots the you see like some dirt and grit in his uniform I really like how there's even um, weathering on the white parts of the armor where some of it is a little stained with like brown and everything uh, like dirt. Uh, anybody who's seen the show knows that by the time this season wraps up, I mean this show wraps up, Captain Rex has been through a whole lot. Like that armor has been through, has seen so many battles and so many uh, crazy circumstances and, and situations that he's found himself in. So really, really nice attention to detail here. I I really dig it. Um, 
And then after that, we can switch over to the second pose here is the helmeted version, which is probably the one I'm going to keep. It's more iconic in my opinion. It's uh, more recognizable. So obviously all the clones look like each other, but um, regardless, it's just, you know, I, don't th I don't think you can really beat this. I do like the way uh, this pose also has a more dynamic kind of flair to it. It's he's got one arm still out shooting like the other one but this but the other arm this time is kind of behind his back as if he's just um pulling his second pistol out of his holster it just to me it really goes with the the flow of the statue and how he's leaning the way his outfit is kind of flowing like his little skirt thing very much a uh an, like an action pose very dynamic looks great looks very natural sculpted amazingly uh, I, I mean I really can't compliment it enough for the price point Kota Bikia really hit it out of the park as as they often normally do and at 110 scales you can get amazing pieces for like 50 60 dollars um, and, and they tend to go rise in prices in the aftermarket but this guy at launch was retailing anywhere from like 120 to 150 dollars depending on where you're getting him from at least the places that I saw. And yeah, I really, I don't have, the, the only thing that isn't great is the skill. I don't have anything else that really is 1 7 scale. Anything that I plan on getting from Star Wars is, is probably going to be bigger. So I don't know how I'll feel about that, but that's not really what we're talking about here. I mean, just, just as an isolated piece looking at this thing, it's, it's beautiful. It really looks like uh, they perfected the animated look i really hope they do more new clone wars material uh yeah i mean i love it i mean it's just you see he's got everything that he had in in those last episodes you see um it's just the right amount of weathering the right amount of damage to the to the uniform i love how he's got um the markings on his helmet and his forearms for i'm assuming those would be either well I, my, initially, I thought they would be like kills, um, but I, he would have a whole lot more, in my opinion. So maybe maybe that's for missions succeeded or accomplished or, or battles won. I'm not sure, but he has it in the show, and therefore he has it here. Accurately, and it, everything looks perfectly scaled together. Just terrific job. Uh, and Star Wars Clone Wars, it kind of hits home for me like that. I've always been a Star Wars fan. Like I like the movies, but I always felt like um, it needed to be fleshed out more. Like what you got in the movies, it just wasn't enough. It felt rushed. So Clone Wars thankfully came along and really did a bang up job of bringing that aspect out. Uh, to anybody who is a Star Wars fan, it, to me, it's, it's a must watch show. It really brings so much context to things. Uh, it brings personality and, and character growth to a lot of main characters that have that are in the movies, such as like Anakin Skywalker and his whole friendship with Obi Wan, which really gets glossed over in the movies since he's always whining and bitching about things. In the Clone Wars, you really see the hero that Anakin Skywalker truly was. Um, and a great friend to Obi-Wan. Their, their friendship is one of the strongest parts of the show. It also helps add clarity to why Anakin eventually um, fell to the dark side. But moreover than that, I think it did something that no other Star Wars media really did, is it brought you a perspective of boots on the ground with these soldiers, these clone soldiers that really didn't have much personality in the movies. Very... I, th I think even only a couple of them are really referred to by name and maybe only Commander Cody is one that actually has much of a of a, of a spotlight but uh, this show changes that it kind of gives a lot a, a unique look into all the clones and it really does a great job of um, separating them based on their personalities and moral stances and just kind of takes you through the war from their own eyes captain rex being the main clone of the show uh my favorite clones who kind of watch over the years he started off as a badass he ends as a badass that's never been a question but uh yeah i mean just great stuff and uh at the end of the day koto bakia 
fantastic job. Now, my one, my other area of criticism really has nothing to do with this figure, but it's the fact that it's also combining with the Ahsoka Tano figure, and the display of them together is they want to be back. They, they did it in a pose that's back to back. The bases connect, so the two characters are back to back, which means when you display it, one character is going to be completely facing the opposite direction. And unless you have something that's constantly turning and spinning 24-7, it's going to look a little silly to me. I wish they did a different pose where they can connect the bases in a different way. Like there's moments in this, these same episodes where um, Ahsoka Tano is, is standing in front of Captain Rex and deflecting blaster bolts coming at her with the lightsabers while he is standing behind her with his arms out shooting over her shoulder on the offensive. And that to me would not only look really cool, but it makes more sense in the practicality scale. But, uh, you know, it's what are you going to do? Can't say, can't really do anything about it now. I don't even know for sure if I'm picking up that Ahsoka Tano, so maybe I'll let someone else bitch about that. Uh, but as far as this piece goes on his own, fantastic work, highly recommended. And for the price point, I don't think you could find a better Captain Rex. Hope you all enjoyed this. Everybody be safe. Peace.